Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey everybody, a couple guys sitting on the couch drinking bourbon, listening to music. I fail to see a problem here. Nope, that's Keith, I'm Dustin. We, got a we bribe. have a sticky note, we a got giant a, sticky we note. We got a oh. Joe bribe. Uh, okay. Joe bribe. And uh, Joe had sent us Monk's Road. All right. There is a story behind this. Okay. So, the indie car culture and track scene um, is kind of an everybody knows everybody kind of world. Yeah. Um, if you're driving around in a supercar in this area... Chances are, you know, most of the other people who have supercars in this area and most of the people that have sports cars. Right. Um, you've, you've run into them. Somewhere. Somewhere. Um, sometimes that gets a little, that net gets cast a little wider when it comes to fundraising for issues. Okay. So it got thrown on my radar about a... Uh, they're also very philanthropic. They, they are. A charity fundraiser kind of uh, dinner and wine tasting with... Um, this is benef what, oh, I'll get there. Benefiting um, the lo a local animal shelter. Okay. That's pretty cool. And they were selling wine bottles... And this. Bourbon? Yeah. Okay. Did you try it? No. Why? I mean, you broke the seal on it. I meant, like, there. Did they have no. to sample? The, actually, no. They had three or four different bottles. I think I sampled one of the other ones. I haven't had this. Okay. Uh, First time reaction. But what happened here was a distiller donated bottles well didn't donate but sold uh a bunch of bottles to this charity, uh, charity um at a deep discount so that all the profits went to the shelter and we wound up kind of lucky in our seating in that uh -huh. we wound up seated at the table with and one chair was the guy that runs the beneficiary shelter. Okay. And in the other chair was the primary emergency veterinarian that provides all the medical care, emergency and otherwise, for uh, all the animals in the shelter. So we and that was, we didn't pay extra or anything. We just luck of the draw wound up sitting next to them, and it was pretty awesome. We got that could be a cool conversation. Yeah, because they were introducing Doctor Such and Such, and the girl beside us stands up and walks up. We're like. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, so that was kind of a cool experience. Um, and I haven't tasted this. Uh, but Joanna bought the bottle. Yeah. Um, because, you know, the puppies and the kitties. And, yeah. You got to save them. Yeah. As long as you don't bring them home. <laughs> Better bring home a bottle of bourbon than a puppy or a kitty. Yes. Um, <laughs> so... Joanna, uh, no, I don't say that because I have three, I don't need any more. Well, we've got two, right? We're good, yeah, and they're rescues, right? Um, so Joanna knows us well, obviously, and knows we like female vocals and has requested Martina. Oh, we haven't had a Martina in a little minute, a little bit. Well, you know, every time we have one, we say that, but I think it's just because we like Martina, <laughs> we're like, Ooh. and we like, we're like, we haven't heard enough, right? Quick yeah, enough, that could be. Yeah. What's the song? It's called Anyway. Well, anyway, let's hear it. It's a very country piano. It's a piano. You can spend your whole life building Something from nothing One storm can come and blow it all away Build it anyway. I'll pass. You 
can chase a dream that seems so out of reach and you know it might not ever come your way dream it anyway God is great but sometimes world's gone crazy and it's hard to believe that tomorrow will be better than today believe it anyway you can love someone with all your heart for all the right reasons and in a moment they can choose to walk away Love a man. This section is awfully orchestral for a country song. It kind of, yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Of you can pour your soul out singing a song you believe in that tomorrow they'll forget you ever sang. Sing it anyway Yeah, sing it anyway Ooh. Yeah, yeah I sing I dream I Sustain that note any longer? Yeah. I ain't complaining. Something else you didn't mention that she knows we like. Positive message songs. So, I kind of forgot about the massive over-engineering on this because the vocals and the message were so awesome. You didn't even need them. You didn't need any of that music behind it. Um, They worked. Well, I mean, Sometimes that happens. I mean, it's true, but I don't think it needed to be there. I don't think we'd have noticed if it wasn't. Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't think we'd have noticed if it were turned up to 11. I don't think we'd have noticed. The, if they overpowered her voice, we would have noticed. Yeah, but you Because that's a powerful voice. You kind of need nuclear weapons to overpower her voice, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, WMDs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, so the summary of that song was... You can really distill it down to a very basic statement. Stay positive. It's not about the destination. That's right. It's the journey. Right. 
be happy in and live the journey. Yep. And and it's not always going to turn out like you thought it was going to. And I used to get so bent out of shape about that when I was a little younger. Yeah. Right? And you just learn that that's not what it's about. Uh, and, I mean, and hopefully you learn it. Hopefully you do. And it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's really not. Uh, there was something in the very beginning that she talked about dreams. Yeah. So I'm a like like me dreaming I'm on a MotoGP bike with a full factory ride. And but it could happen. Sure. <laughs> in another universe. If any Maybe. of the guys we ride with are was there again. Abe's like, right. <laughs> yeah, he's, he just fired up some Aerosmith dream on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you don't dream it, though, it'll never happen. Well, and even working towards the dream, you're going to better yourself. You're going to have positive experiences. You're going to get better. You're going to get stronger. That's right. So it, it, I love the message in this. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. love it. It was awesome. You didn't touch your drink yet. Actually, I have t- taken you? one drink yet. What did you think? I think I'm not sure yet. I think I'm sad that you get to keep this bottle because I like it. It's got that so nose. Is the glorious. nose scares me because it's got old library books in it. No, it doesn't. The funny thing is I didn't taste it. It does have a little bit of tobacco in there, which is what he calls old library books. And they're there in the bigger drink. Corn sweet, a, a pretty healthy dose of almost a lime citrus. Yep, in the mid. Um, in the, I'm getting it in the initial too, okay. and the mid. The mid is dropping into this oaky, vanilla, cinnamon caramel bowl. finish. You can get the cinnamon? I got that in the, in the mid, but the finish is, I'm not getting it in the finish. It just kind of flashes and goes away. Take a little bit of a bigger drink. Trying Legit, to get me drunk now. I mean, it, uh, to me, that, that was a cinnamon bomb that just sticks around. But we've also determined tonight that Keith has burned all his taste buds off. So, you know, I think the, the quote mm. was... Bigger drink it is there. It, it's there, definitely. But the what quote, was the quote? The quote was, I'm Mexican and I can't... That's too hot for me. Oh, yeah. I asked the waitress at a very nice Mexican restaurant we went to for really dinner um, for really hot sauce. And she's like, oh, yeah, we've got... Re- and she brought me these three little tabs, and I'm like dipping a chip straight in well, it. When she handed it to you, she said, please be careful. She told me about That I, was hilarious. She comes back, and she's like, was it hot? And I'm like, I could have drank that. She's like, what? Yeah, I wasn't lying either. <laughs> she's like, I'm Mexican, and I couldn't. I eat really that, hot. Just the way she said you had to be there. It was yeah, great. Yeah, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I get to keep this. I'm telling you, it's, it's pretty good. really good. It's a toasted Monk's barrel finish. Monk's Road. Monk's Road, yeah. Do we know who it's the distiller is? So DSP 47. Whoa. Right? That's before Peerless. So the DSPs are your distillery ideas, IDs. From federal government. Registered with the federal government. Yeah. So this would be the 47th distillery in the country. Fifth District Distilleries. Is the name of this. I've never heard of these people. We need to know more. Yeah. So, FM Head Distillery. Not a clue. We need to know more about this. Yes, for real. Because they've got that DSP number. That's... It's in... I can't say this word. Gethsemane? Gethsemane. Gethsemane. I think that's how it said? Probably. Okay. Gethsemane, Kentucky? I'm betting that's a town population eight. Long Still Distillery. we got to find this place. Oh! I have heard of this process. You know you can distill, distill bourbon in logs as the still? What? It's, a, it's an, a really old practice. What? For real. They it can be done. The log is the still. 
they they actually use a log as the still. Oh. It's nuts, dude. Every time every time you made it, it would be different because there's no way that log is gonna last forever. We need to learn more about we these people. Go here, dude. Like I, I think so. <laughs> you might go to a comedy club tomorrow because this would be a sweet trip. This place is good. Yeah. So we. Thank you, Joanna. We have a new destination to go learn things. I think that would be cool as hell. You, you go YouTube it. I log log right still. Um, th- there are people out there that show you how to do it. Um, one of the guys on Moonshiners actually did it on the show. It's really good. Yeah, this is if this is crafted in a log still, I'm gonna die. Just like really. Like, all these guys talking about this copper stuff? No. No, man. This yeah. <laughs> the, these shiny newfangled fellers went out and done spent a fortune on copper. I just we just got, got this log, this log out right here. here. <laughs> My God, dude. Um, so one thing I did learn on Moonshiners about log stills, the number of people who know how to do it in the country is basically in single digits right now. So maybe these guys are in the list. Uh, I mean, we got to go there. I'm serious. So we got to figure out how to say that name and go there. So awesome. What proof you got? Oh. And take a big drink. Why don't? Not if I'm proofing. I can't take a big drink. Why not? It'll throw it off. Really? Yeah, I got a proof with a pretty small sip. Hmm. A small sipper. So either this is astonishingly astonishingly smooth, or it's pretty low proof. I'm going to guess about ninety. Hundred. Okay, it's pretty damn it's smooth. Super smooth for hundred proof. It it legitim. So we had that old curl that was eighty. I was actually afraid I was guessing high at ninety. <laughs> it's so smooth. This is very very smooth. Yeah, you, it, this makes is it a little dangerous. dangerous yeah, <laughs> it really is because it's. Too damn easy to drink. It's really good. It's a hundred proof. What? <laughs> now I'm I'm just even more intrigued by these. We guys. gotta go. I'm serious. We gotta I, go. I bet you, Joey, and I'll go with us. I'm down. All we right. gotta make a little trip. Yep. yep. Holy crap. So uh, appreciate it, Joanna. Cool tune. If you guys great en- bourbon. If you guys enjoyed this video, give us a like. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what country music we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskey we need to try. And we'll see you next time. See you.